Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're all well this fine day. Now, before we get started on the meat and potatoes of our video, I want to point out two things that I saw on Twitter. Both were very, 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 very good. I know, coming from Twitter, but they were. One was, as McGold has posted up kind of his review of BFA, it is extremely long, but it is well worth a read. It's uh, extremely insightful. It covers PvP, raiding, it covers the leveling experience, it covers a lot. A lot of things that even I'd, I'd forgotten about, having played you know, pretty much this expansion non-stop, maybe a month or two off. And uh, yeah, it's just really insightful. It's well worth a read. Um, I'll put the, the link to this. Ah, easy for me to say. I'll put the link for that in the description down below. Also, Preach did a video with regards to corruption, and I would actually say it's kind of a sad video. Uh, the reason I say that is you can actually see somebody that, very much the same as, as Zach, that is just incredibly passionate about the game, but whereas in the, the twit longer that Zach did, it's insightful, it's full of passion, somebody that loves the game. The Preach video is somebody that loves the game, but has just kind of like raised the, just raised the flag. I just said enough, enough, all right, all right, enough, I'm done fighting, all right, I hope it gets better, but nah, and it's sad to see, because Preach is one of those that always championed, kind of the, I'm going completely off topic now, but you know, championed the, that we, the, things can be done better, they can be done better, we can do better, and to see him so kind of deflated and beaten down, it's, uh, it's kind of a sad, and a sad reflection of where we are with regards to BFA and WoW at the moment. But anyway, as I say, those two will be in the description. And I will say that the more feedback we give, the more we have a chance of not repeating BFA. So it's good that people are doing stuff like this. And uh, yeah, by all means, put your own put your own little stamp out there, however you can, to uh, make sure, as I say, we don't repeat BFA. Now, onwards and upwards, talking about... <laughs> Talking about reflecting on things of past. When 8.3 dropped, I said I loved the reuse of Old Zone. Something I wish we would do more often. Because uh, we have this massive world. We have this huge playground that we can swan about in. We have you know, not only Azeroth and Kalimdor, Eastern Kingdoms. But we have also... We've got TBC to play around with. We've got... We've got Drenor to play around. We've got all these zones, all this land, and every time we get a new expansion, we get a new little area, and that's really it. That's what we get to play with. The, the things never affect sort of the old world, and obviously Cataclysm was the last time we had anything truly updated. So when it was announced, 8.3 was going to involve Oldham and was going to involve the Veil of Eternal Blossoms, I was extremely happy. I was extremely happy. And Veil of Eternal Blossom is a car crash. <laughs> and I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry that I turned around and said, Oh, I really, I'm really, i really pleased that they use these, these old zones. I love it in principle. I love the idea. And I will say, Oldham works out pretty well. But I want to present to you. I want to present to you two clips. I want to see which one you find more interesting. Which one is kind of the best expression of how you would want to play? Um... <laughs> How you would want to play World of Warcraft. <laughs> I know which one I prefer. And I know which one the Veil reminds me of. Yeah, the limitations of the WoW engine is definitely being seen in the Veil. That nothing's come out. No, Blizzard have not come out and said the reason for this is X or Y. We can all guess. We can all come up with theories. Uh, as I say, we have an engine that is very much out of date compared to what we could do now if they revamped it. But in essence, in Vale, we now have four phases layered on top of each other plus sharding. We've got the original. We've got the Garrosh variant. We have the repaired one, and we have total corruption, and it's awful to play. It is borderline at times unplayable. And the best of times, you can see the video that's in the background. That's me playing, as you can see by the time at two o'clock in the afternoon, where pretty much is as good as you're going to get. And yet still, it's just like trying to jog through treacle. 
And I don't do that for fun. I mean, I was younger and I was experimenting, but I don't want to count that. I do this... It shouldn't feel like this. One of the beautiful things about WoW is that it's responsive. And even if you're playing on a substandard system and the graphics might lag a bit, the game is responsive. You can press a button, mm, it's there. It's ready to rock and roll. It's good. It feels good. It feels, as I say, responsive. When you take that away, it's so bad. And the veil, as I say, the veil is just broken. It's just broken and it lags like hell. And it's horrible. Now, will Blizzard come out and say anything? Will they come out and say, well, this is why it's actually happening. What we're going to do is we're going to say that, ah, you know, Nazoth's corruption has now spread. And it's actually now in, I don't know, Dread Wastes. It's in a different part of the world entirely. It's in Tanarus. You know, it's, you know, it's spread from Oldham into Tanarus and we're going to get rid of the phase in the veil. They're not going to come out and do anything like that. Will they do, will they do anything at all? <laughs> you serious? Yeah, okay, 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 okay. But seriously, we have nothing coming until 9.0. According to Blizzard, once people are done with the reps, are they seriously going to want to put any time into into the veil and there's great mounts there there's fantastic stuff to be done but why would i want to subject myself to that you know it's like saying oh i really like hanging out in this bar but whenever i go there somebody stabs you know chunks of broken glass into my nadgers i don't think i particularly want that yeah so i'm just not i'm gonna it's as lovely as the bar is i'm just gonna avoid it and that's a big chunk of the content gone. I mean, if you look at 8.3, we had Nihilotha. We had the Vale, we had Oldham. That's it. Oh, granted, we have the old staples. We have PvP and we have M+. But PvP, from what I've heard from people that are PvPers, is the balance is wonky as hell. M+, from my friends that hardcore do it, is duller than ever. A lot of people I know that are big up M+, runners, love running, sort of, 15 for them was like bread and butter. That's what they used to do all the time. You know, they run 20s and so on and so forth. I like, oh, I'm just kind of a bit burnt out on it and a bit done. Now, part of that is, without shadow of doubt, going to be a reflection of BFA. Because of the limitations of BFA, people have gone off and done other things. They've gone off and, you know, maybe you've done nothing but M+. Yeah, you know, you've had to do your islands, but realistically, you spent most of your time in M+. So, yeah, it's... It, to be expected, you are going to be burnt out. And I will say that the new plus 10 affix is better than beguiling. Now, is there a solution to this? Is there some way I can magically wave a wand and say to you, ah, here's a cheeky little trick I know that you can use to completely and utterly fix it? No. And anybody that says that is generally talking out of their ass. I'll say that now. I wish I could say otherwise. The best suggestion I can give would be to join a group. Uh, that's in the veil. Fingers crossed it phases, you know, you can shift um, out of your current phase and you may get lucky. Now, sadly, Blizzard did change how you join parties. Because uh, Cross Realm Assist, which I have a video on, used to be fantastic. Uh, it's, it's long dead now. But Cross Realm Assist used to just hunt through all of the various parties that are available, just auto join them if it could. And that would jump you around phases. They've now changed it so that uh, it's kind of where the group is, where the leader of the group is, and you have to be in the same phase, or the, sorry, you have to be in the same area as them. So if one member was in, say, I don't know, Voldoon, and you join that party, it's not going to phase you. It's not going to suddenly change the phase that you're in. They have to be in the same zone as you. So. That kind of limits the possibilities, but yeah, it's worth just saying, hey, you know, trying to join a group, if there's a world boss, just any group, try and change the shift. But the flip side is also there, that be a phase hero. If you're in a good phase, just put a group up, literally just call it, uh, you know, non-lagging phase, more than welcome to join. If Blizzard won't do it, then maybe we as a community can. It's not going to be a solution. Yeah, the more people that come on your phase, 
the worse yours might get. But at least for a brief period of time, you may help others out. And if you do it, maybe others will. And that's the best we can come up with as a solution. And that's kind of sad, to be honest. Now, I kind of don't want to leave on a downer. So I will say, don't forget to check out the descriptions down below for the Asmogold and the Preach links. They are both well worth looking at. Uh, also, and I, I said it before and I just want to reiterate it again. Just because they're big streamers and every other big streamer that you know or world first raider, it doesn't mean your opinion doesn't count. It doesn't mean your opinion should not be heard. You know, go onto the forums, go onto Twitter, go onto YouTube. However you believe how you can best come across with your voice about all these aspects means, as I said before, we don't have another BFA. We don't repeat the same mistakes. You know, we have the chance now to turn around and say, whoa, 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 Covenants? We can see that being a car crash a mile off. And this is something Preach touched upon, but I want to talk about it just very quickly now. Covenants have the chance of being a car crash with regards to the ability. Why not have it that you select the ability you want? All abilities available to all Covenants. What changes is the aesthetic appearance. Now, I may do a video on this in more detail, try and get across better what I mean. But things like that, if you talk about it, we have a chance to change it. Now I need to go and have a breather. <laughs> I hope you all have a great remainder of your day. And I'll catch you all later. And uh, catch you all tomorrow. Have a good one everybody. I'll talk to you all later.